Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Fat Dad Streams, actually Fat Dad Scoops. Um, I will probably officially change the name at some point, uh, and I will change the beginning thingy. Um, because I'm not streaming. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I, I like recording these and then posting them on YouTube at my leisure. I don't like having being, having to have a schedule um, I don't know why I'm saying those words in English accents, uh, and but I I I am. Um, so uh, so yeah. So here's here is my uh, playmat again that I got from Howard Lyon uh, at the MTG Richmond Fest. Again, wonderful person. Um, and this playmat is absolutely not topical or controversial at this time. Up oh, there they are together again. Here we are. Controversy. Ah, um, just to to comment on that ridiculousness, um, yeah, I think it was dumb what was done, um, and I, you know, I gotta admit, I kind of feel bad for um, Weissman because I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but um, I feel bad for him uh, because seriously, reading the excerpts, and I admit, I admit, I haven't read the whole thing, I haven't read the whole thing, but. Uh, and for those of you who are not aware, I'm talking about the um, War of the Spark Forsaken novel um, by Greg Weissman, a follow-up to the book War of the Spark. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, War of the Spark was okay. wasn't bad. Like, a, like a, you know, and I say that purely as a it wasn't bad in the way that, you know, um, Expendables 2 wasn't bad. Like, it's popcorn. It's not like, you know, I'm not going to walk away from that book changed. But it was uh, it was an interesting read. It, it moved the story along. Um, it was unfortunate that the timing of it landed in weird spots and it just kind of came off a little hollow at places because contextually within the situation, it just wasn't doing well. Um, whereas with... <laughs> um, uh, with Forsaken, who doggy it uh, like I and the reason why I feel bad for Weissman is because like uh, the excerpts that I've read, it looks like he submitted his first draft to them by the deadline they had given him. And and this is pure conjecture on my part, but he thought the deadline for was the deadline for the first draft. They thought the deadline was the deadline for the final copy. And <laughs> like I totally recognize that that's not how publishing works but um it just it just seems like he put in a first draft and was like yeah this is what i put together in these last couple of weeks give me the notes and i'll go ahead and punch it up make it a little bit better gloss it up smooth it and then we can give it to the copy editors and the and the story editors to really get it nice and 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 smooth and they went no this is good thanks and then you know ran with it and uh oh god like the whole the whole tessic Tesla, 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 Tesla Karlov. Wow, me speaky good. Um, uh, the whole uh, Tesla Karlov, Karlov person thing, uh, essentially talking to the narrator for some random reason. Yeah. It, um, anyway, so anyways, I'm going off on on crazy tangents uh, when really we're here to open packs. Um, so we're going to be opening these two packs. But uh, what has probably brought you to this is. Uh, these two packs right here, baby. Ends up my LGS because we are local, uh, well, local-ish to Richmond. Um, they got themselves uh, a big old stack of these suckers. And uh, and so I was able to get two. Ends up I had some, uh, had some massive store credit from some recent Pioneer sell-off um, because I looked at some cards that I was like, wow, I will never play this card and people want to play it in Pioneer. So I'm going to sell this sucker. Um, I got a couple of these, so we're going to open these suckers up. But first, we're going to do these two because we're building up drama, people. That's what this is. That's what we do. Dramatic. You start. That's why I don't like when boosters don't open like this where they start with the commons. That's one thing I don't like about the mystery boosters is that you open it up and the playtest card is right there. And it's like, I want the build up. Okay. So, run away together. Merchant of the Vale, Youthful Knight, Smitten Swordmaster, Garen Brigcarver, Trapped in the Tower, Fling, Scolding Cauldron, Barrow Witches, She's a Witch, Corridor Monitor, 
Ah, here we go. Uncommon time. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Don't know how. I'll hold it like this, I guess. Overwhelmed Apprentice is one blue for a 1-2 creature, human wizard. When Overwhelmed Apprentice enters the battlefield, each opponent puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard, then you scry two. Yeah, that whole thing, uh, and to comment on the um, on the recent article that they did about the power level stuff, you know, and the, and the apologizing for uh, Broco Oko. Yeah, I'm sorry, I made that joke once. I promise to never do it again. Um, how Oko was just broken. Um, I, you know, for me and my experience, you know, I've been playing well before BFZ, but but from my experience playing through that time, it kind of tracks. Like, Battle for Zendikar was really weak compared to, in fact, I, like, there, it was around, I want to say Aether Revolt, where I was like, huh, stuff's really not coming out that I was starting to, like, that's when I started getting into Commander and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it kind of tracks, but anyway, sorry, kind of got off. A bit of a tangent. Merrileaf Pixie. I love this freaking card um, because it is a green and a blue uh, for a 2 2 creature fairy. Uh, it has flying and it also taps for a green or a blue mana. Um, that's just banana time because uh, green and blue are two colors I love to play. And uh, I, I, I like Doko. I knew he was going to go, but I did like him. Um, and Merrileaf Pixie is going to do some work for me in my crazy, ridiculous uh, decks. Okay, Bognaughty. He's a Bognaughty, isn't he? Um, it's for three black black to get a 3-3 three, three creature fairy. has flying. Uh, if you pay two and a black, you can sacrifice a food, and target creature gets negative three, negative three until end of turn. I really like how they did that, how they turned, how they made it where foods kind of did a thing, but then they made a lot of cards that kind of played with food, um, which was Tempting Witch is one. Um, I just I just really like it. Bognati's one of them. Bognati's a little expensive and pretty much limited only, but pretty good card. All right, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Ooh, yay, big money, big money. All right. Yes, I got Brazen Borrower. Um, Brazen Borrower is one blue blue uh, for a creature, Fairy Rogue, 3-1. Um, it does have an adventure on it. Uh, the creature, I'll say the creature, the creature has flash, flying. Brazen Borrower can block only creatures with flying. Uh, but Brazen Borrower also has the adventure Petty Theft, which is an instant. It's for one in the blue. You can return target non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Yeah, Brazen Borrow is bananas. I'm really happy for that. Um, I, I actually had a showcase version, um, and I sold it in a moment of weakness um, at the Richmond GP because I wanted to buy myself uh, a, a dual land. So, and this and the showcase Brazen Borrower helped me do that. Um, so I cannot, I cannot get too upset with Brazen Borrower right there. All right, so that was a good Eldraine pack. So I hope that is um, is a portent for things to come. Now we're going to do Modern Horizons. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to have to do this all dramatic-like. Because, yeah, this is how I don't like it, so I always have to do it like this. So we're going to do this. Smoke Shroud. Soul Strike Technique. Lava Dart. Frost Walla. Ransack the Lab. Thornado. Shenanigans. I love the name of that card. Savage Swipe. Volatile Claws. Defile. All right. Ooh, Crypt Rats. Yay, yay, yay. Crypty Radioti. Um, Cryptio. Crypt Rats. Okay. Uh, so two and a black uh, for a 1-1 one, one creature rat. Uh, Crypt Rat is a very, yeah, Crypt Rat. Yeah, I don't, probably don't even need to do it, but um, uh, X, uh, Crypt Rat get, deals X damage to each creature and each player. Spend only black mana on X. Yeah, Crypt Rat. I love me some Crypt Rat. Okay. Glacial Revelation. For two and a green, it's a sorcery. Reveal the top six cards of your library. You may put any number of snow permanent cards from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. All right. Final uncommon. Ice Hide Golem. 
Uh, it is a snow mana of any type, and it's to get a 2-2 snow artifact creature golem, which isn't bad. All right, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Kaya's Guile for a one white and a black. You get an instant, choose two. Each opponent sacrifices a creature, exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying, you gain X life. And then entwine three, choose all if you pay the entwine cost. I think Kaya's Guile is actually a pretty good card. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. I only really know the big the big names. Ren and Six. All that. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Snow Covered Forest. Wee! And then, ooh, yeah, oh, yeah. I love me some of that. That's um, Echo of Eons, Teresa Nielsen. Uh, I love her artwork. She is amazing. And then a Foil Rhino token. So Kaya's Guile is my is my Modern Horizons pull. All right. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm debating on maybe keeping one of these suckers sealed. Um, part of me wants to keep it sealed for um, investment purposes. Don't know. I don't know. It's all going to depend on what I pull in the other one. If it's a real crap pull, then I might open it. But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so we shall see. So, which one? Um, crap, I don't have any... I was, I almost was like, I don't have any randomized thing. Okay, evens, odds. Okay, no, we're not doing it again, because that, that, that didn't roll. Okay, let's try that. Uh, okay, yeah, cover. Yeah, cover up the cleavage. Um, all right, evens, odds. Odds, odds. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'm going to roll that again. <laughs> I'm horrible at this. Uh, three. Okay, odds. So we're keeping with odds. Okay, so. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it was so much fun opening these at the event. It was just like, I remember opening the first one. And it was like, I have no idea what I'm opening. And that was that was just banana time school. All right. Uh, I really need to get the... Oh. I don't remember them opening. The ones that I opened, it was right there. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. Flippy flip. Swarm of locusts. This is the R&D playtest card. Swarm of locusts. One in a black. Get you a 1-1 one, one creature insect locust. Flying. Whenever card name, Swarm of Locusts, attacks, it gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn for each locust you control. Test card. Not for constructed play. Okay. All right. So this this is the other thing about this, is that this is just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. You're seeing this, right? Y'all are seeing that. I didn't know this was a thing. That's a second playtest card. Holy dynamite gata. I'm inventing cuss words. Sunmerit. Sunamerit. I didn't know that was a thing. Like, like maybe maybe I'm out. Maybe and if and I'll put it in the show notes so that way y'all don't think I'm a complete idiot. But like, I didn't know you could get multiple playtest cards. I thought there was just one slot. All right, that's okay. Wow. Okay. Or may maybe it's one playtest card in each slot. So I got two playtest cards within one pack. That's kind of bananas. Okay. Son of Marit, um is four black black for a sorcery. Reverse miracle for black. If this card is on the bottom of your library as you begin searching it, you may cast it by paying its reverse miracle cost. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Exile all creatures. That's bananas. Okay. Wow. Wow. I've got to do a little bit of research on that. I might just be out of the loop, but... Okay, Peace of Mind. Uh, it's one and a white for an enchantment. Uh, you can pay white, discard a card, you gain three life. It's from... Uh, um, uh, not Shadows Over Innistrad, the... Uh, 
Uh, Eldritch Moon. That, that one, Eldritch Moon. Encampment Keeper. It's a white for a 1-1 one, one creature hound. Has first strike. Uh, you can pay seven and a white and tap it. Sacrifice Encampment Keeper. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. That's from Rivals of Ixalan. It's either Ixalan or Rivals of Ixalan. I think that's Rivals, but I'm not totally sure. Gurmag Drowner. Three and a blue for a creature, Naga Wizard. Uh, it has exploit. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature. When Gurmag Drowner exploits a creature, look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard. And it's two four creature. Sorry, not sure if I mentioned that. And this is from Dragons of Tarkir. Opportunity. Four blue blue. It's an instant. Uh, target player draws four cards. And this one is from Commander 17. Dismember. Nice. It's uh, one and two black Phyrexian mana. Um, ooh, the next card's old. Uh, target creature gets negative five and negative five until end of turn. Phyrexian mana can be paid either with a black or two life. And it's broken. And this one is uh, Modern Masters 2015, I think. Okay. Oh, Typhoid Rats. Yay, I like me some Typhoid Rats. It's one black for a 1-1 one, one creature rat, and it has death touch. And I this this does typhoid rats does a lot of work for me in my rat deck. And that came from M15. Valley Dasher, it's one and a red for a 2-2 two, two creature, human berserker, has haste. Valley Dasher attacks each turn if able. And that is from Cons of Tarkir. Oh, I thought I had an old red border, but I don't. Salivating Gremlins, it's two and a red for a 2-3 creature gremlin. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, Salivating Gremlins gets plus two plus zero and gains trample until end of turn. Spider spawning, four and a green. Uh, create a one-two, it's a sorcery, create a one-two green spider creature token with reach for each creature card in your graveyard. Flashback, six and a black. That's pretty good. And that comes from Commander, CMA. It's Commander product. I don't know which one. Oh, Commander Anthology. Okay. Nice. Oak, Oak Gnarl, Oak Gnarl Warrior. Oak Gnarl. Five green green. Uh, for a five seven creature, Tree Folk Warrior, Vigilance and Trample. And this one came from Dual Deck. Um, oh, um. Oh, this was, uh... oh, man, which one was that one? Oh, Obnixilis versus uh, Nissa, that one. Okay. Ooh, Storm Chaser Chimera. Two blue and a red for a 2-3 creature Chimera. Flying, uh, two blue and a red. You can scry one, then reveal the top card of your library. Storm Chaser Chimera gets plus X, plus zero until end of turn, where X is that card's, con card's converted mana cost. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, for a second there, I got the. I thought I got the biggie. I thought I got the mana crypt. I was like, woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, Mask of Memory. It's uh, two generic for an artifact equipment. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to player, you may draw... Um, you may draw two cards. If you do discard a card, equip one. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention that uh, uh, Storm Chaser Chimera came from uh, Conspiracy 2, and Mask of Memory came from uh, Commander 2014. Ooh, we got an oldie. Ooh, Squirrel Wrangler. Yeah. Got me some Squirrel Wrangler. It's two green green for a 2-2 two, two creature druid, uh, a... Uh, one and a green, sacrifice a land, put two 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens into play, uh, or you can play one and a green, sacrifice a land, all squirrels get plus one, plus one until end of turn. <laughs> Nodge to death, bad way to go. Okay, and then final card from the pack. Ooh, ooh, yay, all right. That, oh man, this is a good pack pull. Torment of Hailfire is X black black sorcery, um... Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Um, and that is from our Devastation. I did forget to mention that um, uh, Squirrel Wrangler came from Odyssey. So, yeah, wow, that was... Ooh. 
And Torment of Hailfire is a good card. Like it's it's it was expensive before Pioneer, and I think it has just gone bananas through the roof after. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what are we on? Um, shmi, shmi. We're at twenty minutes. Should I do it, guys and gals? Should I? I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking maybe I should because I got two R&D playtest cards out of that. Uh, that was that was kind of awesome. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do it. It's because I'm weak. All right. Okay, let's see if I... Who? Noxious Bayou! Yes, yes, yes! All right, Noxious Bayou land. Add green or add black or green. You get a poison counter. Oh, that's bananas! I love it. I love it. All right, nope, no extra R and D card. Let's see if I get another one. Expose evil. One in a white for an instant. Tap up to two target creatures and then investigate. This is from Shadows Over Innistrad. Cloud shift. It's uh, one white for an instant exile target creature you control will then return that card to the battlefield under your control. Oh, that's nice. Scroll Thief. Two and a blue for a... Oh, and that uh, uh, that came from um, Masters 25. Uh, Scroll Thief uh, is two and a blue uh, for a 1-3 creature Merfolk Wizard. Whenever Scroll Thief deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. And that comes from dual deck something else. A different dual deck. Um, I don't know which one. Uh, Cloud Shift was the one that came from Masters 25. Ooh. Impulse. One and a blue. For an instant, look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That is from Battle Bond. Vampire Champion. Three and a black. For a 3-3 three, three creature vampire soldier with death touch, and it comes from Rivals of Ixalan. Tidy conclusion. Three black black. For an instant, destroy target creature. You gain one life for each artifact you control. It is from Kaladesh. Ruinous Gremlin. For one red, you get a 1-1 one, one creature gremlin. Pay two and a red. Sacrifice Ruinous Gremlin. Destroy target artifact. That also is from Kaladesh. Battle Rampart, two and a red for a 1-3 creature wall. Defender, tap, target creature gains haste until end of turn. That comes from Battle Bond. Wolfkin Bond for an, a green enchantment aura, enchant creature. When Wolfkin Bond enters the battlefield, put a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield. Enchant enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. And that is from Eldritch Moon. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I gotta admit, it kind of hurts a little bit when one of the cards you pull is from one of the intro decks from 2017. Uh, three and a green, a stalking tiger. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, three and a green for a 3-3 three, three creature cat. Stalking tiger can't be blocked by more than one creature. And again, it comes from the intro deck 2017. Ooh, okay. Here's something. Fires of Yavamaya is a one red and a green enchantment. Creatures you control have haste. Sacrifice, fires of Yavamaya. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That comes from Plane Chase, I think. I think that's Plane Chase. Okay. Whoop. Ooh, Spy Kit. It's two. For an artifact equipment, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has all names of non-legendary creature cards in addition to its name. Equip two. Interesting. That's from Conspiracy number two. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I think. Okay. We got two more. All right. Let's see. Whoop. All right. Pathraiser of Olamog. Um, Not really. I I enjoy Pathraiser of Olamog. He's he's a nice thing. Not, not a great financial pull, but, you know. Uh, he's 11 generic for a 9-9 creature Eldrazi with Annihilator 3. Whenever this creature attacks, defending player sacrifices 3 permanents. That is awesome to play with, horrid to play against. 
Pathraiser of Olamog can't be blocked except by three or more creatures, which makes Pathraiser even more nasty. Um, and that comes from Rise of Eldrazi. All right, this is the last one, the last biggie. Let's see what we got. Boom. Oh. Mizzix Mastery. For three and a red, you get a sorcery. Exile target card that's in an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. For each card, exile this way, copy it, and you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Exile Mizzix Mastery. Uh, it has Overload. Five, red, red, red. You may cast this spell for its overload cost if you do change its text by replacing all instances of target with each. Um, <clears throat> I don't, th uh, and that came from uh, Commander 15. Uh, so yeah, so I don't think a huge financial one on that one, but still fun to pull. Um, I'm, I'm still, like, I'm all, like, did get Noxious Bayou. I think that's one of that, and... Um, Morrow's Gone Nuts, I think, are the two playtest cards that are... And uh, there's another one that uh, uh, refers to Black Lotus that's also, like, ridiculously expensive. The rest of them are running between $15 and $60, depending. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I am totally happy with this pull. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, and... Um... But uh, but yeah, so I thought that would be fun. Uh, next week, I'm going to try to get a show out next week. Um, going to be a little hard because of uh, Thanksgiving. I'm going to be uh, going to kind of be really busy with holiday and everything. Um, so I'm going to try to get something out. Uh, we shall see. I'm really excited about the secret layer that they're revealing tomorrow. Um, so by the time this video is dropped, we will probably all know what it is. And you may wonder why I don't mention it. But I that is because I haven't seen it yet in the time of recording so um i might drop an extra video talking about it um but uh depending on how earth shattering it is uh my prediction is a monthly subs subscription box um <clears throat> which if that's the case um then yes i will be you know i'm i'm i gotta admit i'm a sucker for that kind of stuff so um, so yeah, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, it's getting late. I gotta go. So, uh, you can find more information about me and the, and the CIP network of which this, uh, video series is a part of on our website at www.thecipnetwork.com. You can call us at 434-481-1787 and leave us a voice message, which I can play here on the show. If you'd like, you can email me at nate at thecipnetwork.com. Oh, I do want to mention, if you do email me or you send send me a uh, voicemail, um, note that you want it to be on Fat Dad Scoops. Um, uh, because if you don't n note what show you watch, I may not know where to put it um i might know it from the context if you're calling about magic i probably will will include it here but uh but uh note that if you if you want uh me to play it here uh you can check us out on youtube uh which you probably are considering you're watching this uh finally you can support the podcast directly by going to the cipnetwork.com forward slash support or go to our patreon and search for us there um our intro and outro music is your call by kevin mccloyd and you can find more of his stuff at incompetech.com thank you so much for watching and i hope y'all have a wonderful day